Hey, welcome to the section 2.2. Let's read the text, which is called Al Bar. Maria e Giorgio sono al bar al centro di Roma. I due amici bevono caffè e parlano. Arriva Paul, l'amico di Maria. Ciao Paul, vieni qui. Salve Maria, che bella sorpresa. Ti presento il mio amico Giorgio. Piacere di conoscerti. Parli italiano, Paul? Sì, parlo italiano. Sono studente qui a Roma, ma sono americano. Sono di New York. E tu, di dove sei? Io sono di Napoli, ma attualmente lavoro a Roma. Faccio l'insegnante di scuola elementare. Ah, che bello! Ti posso offrire qualcosa da bere? Sì, prenderei una birra fredda molto volentieri. Va bene, ragazzi. Io adesso devo andare. Sono già in ritardo. Ma ci vediamo domani, Paul. D'accordo, a domani. Ciao, Maria. Ok, now let's learn some new words. Al bar means in the cafe, in coffee shop. A is a preposition meaning in, at, to, depending on how you use it in the context. You will always find the preposition a in front of the names of cities to express the idea of staying somewhere or going somewhere. For example, sono a Roma. I'm in Rome. Vado a Firenze. I go to Florence. But you will always use preposition in in front of the names of countries to express the same idea of staying or going somewhere. For example, sono in Italia. I'm in Italy. Vado in Inghilterra. I go to England. Il bar is cafe or coffee shop, as we said. Remember, we will always learn new words with their relative articles. Then we have il centro, it's center or downtown. Di is preposition, meaning of. It also indicates origin. And it means from, as we have seen before. For example, sono di Boston, I'm from Boston. This preposition has other meanings, but for the time being, let's settle with these. Next word is due. You know this, it's two. And uh, speaking of numbers, it would be good if we learned now basic numbers from one to ten, or let's say zero to ten. So, zero is zero, an easy one. Then we have uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, e dieci. Ok, let's repeat it once again. Zero, uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, Dieci. That's enough for, for the second lesson. The next word, l'amico, is friend. And the plural, you already know it, gli amici. Quindi, i due amici means the two friends. And quindi means so or therefore. Or you can say allora, it's the same and you'll hear it really, really frequently in Italia. Bevono, it's simple present tense of the verb bere, which means to drink. Il caffè is coffee. Pay attention that in the plural, this noun will still be caffè. Il caffè, i caffè. Parlare, to talk. Arrivare, to arrive, to reach, to come. Vieni qui, it's come here. You can also say qua instead of qui. It's the same thing. Venire is to come. Qui or qua is here. And you have li or la is there. Che cosa is what. You, you have certainly heard of it. Che cosa. You can also simply say che or cosa in the meaning of what. Then 
bello, or feminine gender, bella, beautiful, nice. La sorpresa, as you imagine it's surprise. Che bella sorpresa, what a beautiful surprise. If you're a girl in Italy, you will certainly often hear che bella ragazza, what a beautiful girl. Then we have presentare, to introduce. Ti presento Paul. I present you Paul. Let me introduce you to Paul. Speaking of uh, introducing others, how will you say what's your name? It's come ti chiami? And the answer, mi chiamo Maria. Or mi chiamo Luca. If you're in formal and polite conversation, you'll ask, come si chiama? What's your name? For example, come si chiama lei, signora? What's your name, madam? Piacere di conoscerti means nice to meet you. Piacere di conoscerti. Or you could simply say piacere. It's the same thing. If you're in formal situation and you want to use forma di cortesia, you'll say piacere di conoscerla. Or again, simply piacere. It's enough. Other than this, you can say molto lieto or molto lieta for feminine gender, di conoscerti or di conoscerla, or simply molto lieta, molto lieto, which again means nice to meet you or delighted to meet you. Then the next useful phrase is parli italiano. Do you speak Italian? We have have already said that parlare is to speak, to talk. Italiano is Italian. The answer is if you do, sì, parlo italiano. Or if you don't, no, non parlo italiano. The form for forma di cortesia is parla italiano. And of course the answer is the same. How would you ask in Italian, do you speak English? And you know that English is inglese. You will ask, parli inglese? Or formally, parla inglese? Let's see now some other names of the countries and their respective adjectives. L'Inghilterra is England and l'inglese is English. Stati Uniti as USA and l'americano is American. La Grecia is Greece. Il Greco, Greek. La Russia is Russia. Il Russo is Russian. Il Giappone is Japan. Il Giapponese, Japanese. La Francia is France. Il Francese is French. La Germania is Germany. Il Tedesco is German. Yeah, this one is a little bit different. La Spagna is Spain. Lo Spagnolo is Spanish. La Turchia is Turkey. Il Turco, Turkish. La Cina is China. Il Cinese, Chinese. So if you want to say English language, you can say either la lingua inglese or simply l'inglese. It's the same. La lingua francese or il francese. La lingua italiana or l'italiano. Etc. So now you can ask, mm, do you speak Russian? And it's parli russo o uh, parla greco, parla giapponese, etc. We continue with our new words. Lo studente is student. La studentessa is female student. Ma means but. Ma. 
Sono di New York. I'm from New York. Napoli is Naples. Attualmente is now, presently, at the moment. Lavorare is to work. L'insegnante is teacher, professor. It's both masculine and feminine form. Faccio l'insegnante is I'm teacher. Or you can also say sono insegnante. The same thing. Just that you don't use definite article in this second case with verb to be. So, faccio l'insegnante and sono insegnante. It's very important to know this. Then we have la scuola, school. We also know the plural of this. It's le scuole. Scuola elementare is elementary school. Scuola media, high school. Che bello! How nice! Posso is from the verb potere, which means can. Offrire is to offer. Qualcosa means something, anything. Bere, to drink. Prendere, to take, to get. La birra is beer. Freddo is cold, or in this, this case, it's going to be la birra fredda, because la birra is feminine gender, so the, the adjective has to be feminine also. Volentieri is gladly, willingly. Molto volentieri, very gladly, because we know that molto is very much, many, sometimes really, etc., Va bene, you know this one, va bene, it's okay, all right. Il ragazzo, as you know, it's boy, young man, guy, etc. Adesso is now. Synonymous is ora. So adesso or ora, whatever you like. Devo is uh, the verb dovere, which means must, have to. Andare to go. Già, already, by now. But uh, it has also a meaning of indeed, right? Già, if you want to confirm something. In ritardo, late, delayed. Essere in ritardo, to be late. Arrivare in ritardo, to arrive late. And the final word, d'accordo. Okay, agreed. D'accordo. That's it. Thank you.